It's time for a tretinoin update. So far, I've been using tretinoin for about two weeks. I know I'm not going to see any real results yet because I know it takes a few months, but I still want to document the process and just keep you up to date on what's happened so far. After doing a ton of research, talking to friends who have used this for years, and speaking to a nurse, I decided that I was going to use this every other night from the start. I've heard mixed things. I've heard girls say they start by using this only once a week and they work their way up. I've heard girls say that they jump right in and use it every single night. Because I've been using Differin Gel for so many years, I stopped when I started Tretinoin, I felt like my skin had some sort of a tolerance. I also heard other girls say the same thing. So for me personally, that's why I decided to use Tretinoin every other night from the start. And so far, so good. I've heard horror stories about purging from tretinoin. They say that your skin can get worse before it gets better, but like I said, I felt like my skin had a tolerance, and so far, I haven't purged at all. I did get a little bit of dry skin right here. Like, I'm talking the tiniest amount. That showed up probably around day three or four of using this, and right now, I have like the tiniest little pimple here. If you want to say that's purging, fine, whatever, but other than that, I have continued to have just very clear skin, which I already had before. I do want to note that I've never struggled with acne. Someone asked me this on my other video if I'm using this for acne because some people do use tretinoin for acne. I've never struggled with ac acne, okay, ever in my life. The only reason I'm using tretinoin is for like to improve my skin's texture. I have very large pores and some fine lines and I wanted to see if tretinoin could help me with my overall skin appearance and some of that texture. I'm not personally using this for acne. Like I said, some girls have said that tretinoin made their acne worse before it made it better. I've also heard some girls say that tretinoin dried their skin out so much that they were like peeling and flaky and super dry. I haven't experienced any of that. I personally believe it's because I use tretinoin or differin and I had a tolerance. Maybe I'm just lucky. Maybe I'm speaking too soon and I'm gonna end up purging really bad in the coming days, months, weeks. I don't know. I've also been keeping my skin super moisturized which I've already done in the past before tretinoin but I'm even more cautious about keeping my skin super moisturized because tretinoin can be very drying this is the moisturizer I've been using on the nights that I um, use tretinoin but I also I pretty much use this every night because it's just so thick and good she's thick and I've specifically been using this one in the tub because it's like the thickest one and I love it and then I follow it up with a facial oil this one is from Elemis it's the superfood facial oil and these together, so good. I have oily skin, by the way. Don't be afraid to moisturize your oily skin. And you should be moisturizing even if you don't use tretinoin, okay? This is like the secret to anti-aging. One time, I met this girl at the Playboy Mansion and she was like a playmate and she had beautiful skin, like a baby, like brand new skin. And I had to say something because that's how gorgeous her skin was. I was like, what is your secret? And she was like casually eating potato chips. I'll never forget this. And she was like, I just moisturize the shit out of my face. She's like, I literally apply facial moisturizer like three or four times a day. So don't be afraid to moisturize your face, especially if you're using tretinoin. I've also been very careful to use a sunscreen because tretinoin can make your skin more sensitive to the sun. Um, I've never been good at wearing sunscreen. Like I never, literally never wear it unless I'm like at the beach and I'm like trying to be good. I'm so bad with sunscreen. Even when I was using different gel, I know I'm like embarrassed him at that like I'm really bad at wearing sunscreen. But now that I'm wearing tretinoin, I make sure that I put this on every single day, even when I don't leave the house. I still wear sunscreen. And this one from Good Molecules, this is a sheer mineral sunscreen SPF 30. I love this one because it feels like a facial moisturizer. It doesn't feel heavy or greasy or oily. Mwah, I love it, it's so good. And that is my tretinoin update. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. I'm not a doctor, so I'm just speaking on my own personal experience. But um, feel free to ask me any questions. I'll either answer them in the comments or in my next skincare vlog.